The iron again at six. Today on Anything for Money, will this woman read a romance novel to construction workers? Will this man act like a 50s greaser to sell used cars? And will this man pose as a Buckingham Palace guard? Well, we'll find out as we ask the question, will people do anything for money? And now here is the star of our show, Mr. Fred Travelina. Hey, how are you? What a thank you. Thank you. Are you people ready for some craziness? You have come to the right show, trust me. Because once again, we've sent our cameras out into the field to see how much money it would take to involve people in situations they would normally avoid. We've taken all of this and turned it into a game. Now let's meet our people watchers for today. Johnny? Well, originally from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, this is a flight attendant, Lewis Winters. And from Cleveland, Ohio, say hello to Olga Kersansky. Hello, Olga. How are you? Hi, Lewis. Hello. How you doing? How are you guys doing? Fine. Just fine. Mm -hmm. Gonna win lots of money today. We're gonna we try. Like to. I have to see those dollar signs in the eyes. You're getting yeah. ready for the game. Yeah. Let me tell you a little bit about our show. We play our game in three rounds, and in each round, you're gonna be given a chance to earn some cash. We'll ask you a simple question about human nature. If you answer the question correctly, the money is yours. The player with the most money at the end of our game will be the winner for the day, and receive a special bonus prize. Now, with that in mind, tune up your intuition and let's begin. Are you ready? Yeah. yeah. Are right. you ready? Yeah. All right. And round one, a correct answer is worth $200. Our actor is developing a cultural program for window washers. <laughs> they don't have time to read, so he needs people who will read to them. Watch. <laughs> Do you know about the Baronius program? The what? The Baronius program, no. where we're reading some of the classic, classic literature to people who work outside. We're reading to these window washers up here. We read to construction workers down over there, all to reintroduce literature, get people away from TV that is stimulate an interest in, uh, in literature. Uh -huh. The person that is supposed to be here reading an excerpt from a short story today could not make it, and I've got to go down the whole thing on the supervisor and set up people at all locations. Mm -hmm. I'll give you $10 if you'll just take the bullhorn and read. It's about three or four minutes of reading just this one page which is an excerpt from a classic short story why wouldn't you be able to do that i don't know okay was the lady willing to read out loud for under fifty dollars fifty dollars or over or did she prefer to do her reading at home lock in your answers let's find out how you voted olga i voted under 50. Why? Well, she seems like a nice lady and should go for that. Okay, Lewis? I voted under 50 also. Same, what's the reason? Uh, I thought that she's a smart lady. I think she'll take the money. She'll take the money? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Let's go back to the tape and see if the woman agreed to be the voice of culture for those window washers. <laughs> Why wouldn't you be able to do that? I don't know. Uh, it's really kind of important because I've got to move along and set them up at the other places because the person is not here and they're supposed to cover this whole area and I, the whole program is falling behind and we don't want it to because it just got started. Okay. Would you do it for $20? Yeah, you give me the $20. I'll give you the $20 you. right now. Here. Let me give you the ball. It's only one page. It's only, we give them a bit by bit. It's okay. an excerpt of a short story. Here, if you would stand, do you see the C in the... In the what are you laughing at? Sorry. I need a good reading. You need a serious reading, really. Oh, we, here. First of all, take your glass off because I don't want you to stumble on the reading. Thank you. Here, hold this thing like this. You've got to aim this right at that C. Give them a nice good reading. Because some of these guys want to, we want to stimulate the interest so that they will get in the mood of literature. Okay. You know what I mean? Keep it going. Here you go. That's what we, our studies indicate. Yeah, I got it. Good luck. Excerpts from morning, noon, and night. Without knowing just how it happened, I found my hands running through... <laughs> Forget it! What's happening? Come on. Listen. I, I wouldn't have... Listen, I'll give you another $10. I've got to get over there. Will you do I'm it for $30? No. Why won't you no. read it? I'm not going to read it. Why so won't you read it? You I have, have a wonderful voice. Here, I'll give you another $10. I'll give no. you... Will you do it for $30? Come on. You're helping... 
loving literature. You're helping art. Literature. This is. This was a great short story. Sakima Bragilito was one of the great Bantu novelists. I'm going to get molested reading this stuff. You're not going to get molested. Those guys are up there listening to this. This is uh, this is very necessary. I've read all of Bragilito. He is great. Okay. I'll give you another $20. Will you do, okay. it do it for $40? $40. dollars you will do it for $40. I'll do it for $40. You'll do it for $40. Yeah. You've got $20, $30, $40. But you're not, you won't I'll leave. Finish. No, I will. Do it. It's great stuff. I've got to go to that building and get somebody over there to read because this guy's whole route is now being neglected and who knows how many words are not being spoken today that will go down in history. Point it at the sea. There we go. It'll bounce off the building very well and give it a good one. Okay. Okay, now do it. Without knowing just how it happened, I found my hands running through his thick, blonde, curly, greasy, wavy, sensuous hair. I glanced at the sky outside the window and saw the heavens twinkle and felt the moon watching us. I looked again and saw Mars. I saw stars. I saw Harry's underdrawers. Thoughts raced through my mind at a lightning pace. Should I give him more? Should I tell him my name? Does he like anchovies on his pizza? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> to be continued. Tune in next week. She was just getting to the good part. Well, she did it for $40, so the correct answer is under 50. That means that Alda, you are correct and pick up $200. Congratulations. Yay. Lewis, you're correct and you pick up $200. That's the way to start this game. Yeah. 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 Coming up, a blast from the CD Pass when we ask a man to sell used cars like the Fonz would. Hey, right after this, don't go away. You're right. Hey, right here. Honey, Uncle Louie's coming over. There's a time for peanuts. He's putting us in his will. And a time for Fisher Honey Roasted Peanuts. Sarah, your computer date's here. A doctor somebody or other. Fisher Honey Roasted Peanuts aren't your ordinary peanuts. Honey coated, perfectly roasted, and lightly salted for a unique sweet nutty taste. Ah, an evening alone. You, mother. Fisher Honey Roasted Peanuts, they're not your ordinary peanuts. We're Beatrice. Wake up! I could run off the road and you wouldn't know the difference. I can't stay awake. Here, revive with Vibrin. Vibrin helps wake you up. Government-appointed experts confirm it's safe, effective. Revive with Vibrin. Who's been using my razor? Mine burns me. Uh, don't blame your razor. Use my ice blue aqua velva. It turns red hot razor burn to cool comfort smooths too. My aqua velva men. There's something about an ice blue aqua velva man. Homeowners, stop throwing money out old windows. Put that money back in your home with new Alco windows. Alco can beat any price on insulated window installations. Why pay more? Heat dollars escape even around new windows because your sashway pockets are hollow. So don't buy windows without Alco's free insulation. Buy four windows and get one free. Call Alco, one of America's lowest price window discounters, for free estimate and free color booklet. Coming up today on Channel 2 News at 5. Are AIDS victims becoming the next untouchables? Is AIDS causing unfair and unwarranted discrimination? We'll get to the heart of the matter. Bruce Springsteen's right-hand man, guitarist Nils Lofgren, joins us live. Then at 6, they made you laugh in Splash, and the fun continues when Tom Hanks and John Candy join forces in Volunteers. Dennis Cunningham has the review. Join us for these stories and more, starting today at 5. Welcome back to round two. Round two is worth $300. This time we're going to show you two different situations where we tried to get people to do unusual things for money. You'll be trying to decide who cost us the most. First, our actor is posing as a used car salesman, and his gimmick is the fabulous 50s, which is probably about as fast as his junk heaps will go. He's making a commercial, and he needs an actor. Watch. <laughs> I'm selling this car on a show, on a cable show, uh -huh. that is called Cable Car Lot. Here's the problem. See, I'm a car dealer, okay? Yeah. So they don't let me do, car dealers do, do the, the That's right. Yeah. And I had a great idea for a commercial. But you know, you have the kind of look that I might be able to use you for the commercial. Have you ever seen Happy Days? Do you remember that mm -hmm. show, Happy Days? Mm -hmm. Do you know who the Fonzie is? Mm -hmm. Did, do people ever tell you that you look like him? <laughs> no. They don't? Oh, I wonder why. I think you have a similar thing. And I don't want to go, you know, with an 18 or 19-year-old, you know. I want someone with a little maturity. 
So the thing is that what I would like you to do, I'll pay you $10 if you'll do this ad for me. All you have to do is just slip back, slick back your hair just a little bit. I'll put a TV shirt over you. It'll take only a couple of minutes. Will you do that for $10? <laughs> Next, our actor is posing as a conscientious clothing inspector. He's learned that some shoddy merchandise got past him, and he's trying to get it off the streets, which means off the people who are wearing it. I'm sorry, I'm a fabric inspector, clothing inspector. When you get a tag, it says, inspector number four, that's uh, my stuff from a big wholesale house. This looks like one of ours, and sure enough, what happened is we've recently found out that there have been counterfeit inspected by number four tags being placed in a lot of clothes and a lot of inferior merchandise is going on the shelves and been sold. And I've got to get the stuff back because it's my integrity on the line. Plus the companies, we're losing a lot of people because our retailers that we sell to are having their customers come back telling them that the stuff is falling apart. And this looks like one of our outfits. And I'm really sorry to say it, but this does have to go back. This is like a clothing recall. I will give you $10 <laughs> for the suit. Yeah. I've got... Why not? No, I ha I'm late for it. How much did you pay for this? Uh, it was a steal, $40. <laughs> All right, Olga and Lewis, who do you think costs us the most money? The man asked to pose as a 50s greaser, or the woman asked to sell her dress. And remember, it's possible these are strange requests. It's possible one of them didn't do it at all. Lock in your votes. Here we go, Louis. Okay. And Olga? All right. We'll be right back with our contested decisions, along with more laughs on anything for money, right after this. Through 24,000 touchdowns in football, through 18,000 slides in baseball, through more face-offs, more hits, more runs, more errors, one sports figure has attracted more loyal fans than anyone else in New York. Warner Wolf on Channel 2 News. Hey, come on, give us a break. Because anything can happen in sports, and Warner Wolf will tell you when it does. Channel 2 News, because anything can happen in New York. Wednesday's the one-day sale store-wide, starting 9 a.m. at ANS. This Akai stereo rack system, just $325. This Magnavox 19-inch remote color TV, $199. Arborware 10-piece stainless cookware set, $75. Wednesday only at ANS. These full-lead crystal lamps, just $29.99. Canon crystal twin sheets, $2.99. 50% off selected Stearns & Foster three-piece bedding set. Wednesday only. Shop extra early, extra late at ANS. Terrific. Welcome back. It's time now for our contestant decisions on who costs us the most. The man has to act like a greaser, or the woman has to part with her clothes. Olga, who do you think held out for the most? Uh, the woman who, who was asked for her clothes. I think um, it's going to take a lot more money to convince her to take her clothes off. Okay. Give it up. Okay. <laughs> Lewis? Yes, I went the same way, and I also feel that uh, it's going to take a little bit more to to uh, get her to come out of those clothes. Yes, there is a strange request. Okay, now that we know why they made their decisions, let's watch the rest of the scene and find out who cost us the most. I'll pay you $10 if you'll do this ad for me. All you have to do is just slip back, slick back your hair just a little bit. I'll put a TV shirt over you. It'll take only a couple of minutes. Will you do that for $10? Yes, certainly. You would? Yeah. Okay, I'll pay you $10 and you'll shoot the ad for me? Yeah, yeah. Well, I appreciate this. I, I was really in a bind. Here's your $10. <laughs> Okay, uh, now you don't have to do it right the first time. Don't worry about it. Just really go for it. Do it very broad. I, I know you got, I'll be like your conductor. And you're All just, right. Okay, really go for it. Hey there, right. Johnny Cool. Here I'm making the scene with this here mean machine. Yo, I got to deal a real set of wheels. But this is one heavy ride. Let me tell you, man, you can be cool to move your little heart out in this very cherry chariot. That's car talk for beauty. Dynamite condition. for a thousand clans, and I'm not making a dime on this deal, trust me. <laughs> I think I bought a car from him. <laughs> our actor drove a bargain at $10, which is more than the car was worth. Now let's see if our earnest clothing inspector can make a deal for the lady's faulty dress. <laughs> I'm really sorry to say it, but this does have to go back this is like a clothing recall. I will give you $10 <laughs> for the suit. Yeah. I've got, why not? No, I ha I'm late for it. How much did you pay for this? 
Uh, it was a steal, $40. You paid $40 for it. Mm -hmm. See, but it's going to fall apart over here. I'll show you right where the stitching is. Uh, I've worn it There's... before. I'm really late for an appointment. I will give you $20 it. to no. buy the suit back. I mean, I, we've got a court case. This is the evidence. No. I'll give you $30 no. for the suit. It's a used suit. No. Thank you. Anyway. $40. I really I will... like the suit. I understand you <laughs> like it, but get one that was not inspected by number four with a phony label in it. I will give you $50. No. $50 really? to buy the suit. Why? Because I'm late for an appointment and I well, really it's not going to take long. You'll no. slip it off. Really I've got like some it. tempe clothes on. I really like it. Seventy dollars. No. I'll give you. I'll give you eighty for the suit. <laughs> I need the suit. I've got it. That's two appointment. times the price of the suit. Have an you have an appointment with money. Eighty dollars for the suit. That's two times the price. Well, leave, whatever I'm not you taking have in your time. I'll give you a hundred dollars. I can't give you the suit though. Why can't you? Because I have an appointment and I like the way it looks. Well, you'll you'll get another suit, or you'll. I've got some temporary clothing with me so that you can it put this on. It can't be anything that looks as good as this. Suit. No, I'm sure. Well, I don't think it looks that good. <laughs> It'll get you to a place where you can buy another suit. How long does it take to buy something? I'll give you $120. No. You'll buy something for $30. You'll pocket $90. i will have the suit. We'll win the case. Everybody will smile. No. Come here. Come here. I'll give you $170. No. I have an appointment. I really can. You can. Honestly, you I really can. can. For $170, you, you, you can. Ralph Harris. Inspector number four. Very Everybody nice. calls me number four. Well, My nephews Harris. call me uncle number, number four. Uncle yeah. number four. Very nice. I'm really I'll sorry. give you $180. I'm really sorry. $200 to buy this suit. No. You will not sell that suit I for $200. Can't. Because I have an appointment. If I didn't have an appointment, I still wouldn't wear that. I'd put on something in my car, but I don't have any clothes with me. You have a good day. You too. God bless you. God bless you. <laughs> well, in this case, a stitch in time didn't save anything because she decided to keep her dress. And that means the man who posed as a 50s greaser held out for the most. That means that Olga, I'm sorry, you're incorrect. No money this round. And Lewis, you're incorrect. No money this round. But do not despair. You can still pick up money in our next round. Coming up, a Buckingham Palace guard asked an American to take his place. That's next. So stay tuned. We'll be here with this wonderful post right here. Got a problem. Oh. It's your breath, isn't it? <laughs> Naturally, you want to do something about it. <laughs> then have a milk bone dog biscuit. Every crunch of milk bone helps scrape away plaque and food particles that can lead to bad breath. In fact, no other leading dog biscuit gets your teeth naturally cleaner and whiter or your breath fresher. Get milk bone dog biscuits because naturally every dog wants fresher breath. Hi. I'm Craig from the Window Factory, where we manufacture and install replacement windows at direct factory prices. Lots of dealers sell windows. They even have salesmen come to your home. But we manufacture and install windows at direct factory prices. So sit home, let a salesman come show you his little samples. Then, for your best deal, you come to us. See our factory, eliminate middlemen, eliminate commissions, and save money. Remember, wherever you live, call for directions. It works. That's it. The person on the left struggles to get up and requires help. But on the right, the same person can stand with fingertip ease. The difference is the Burke elevating seat chair. Specially designed Burke recliners or swivel rockers have elevating seats that slowly and safely lift you to a full standing or sitting position. So now you can be independent and stand or sit without help in a Burke chair. Call now 1-800-845-3000 for brochure and Medicare information. Round three of anything for money. This final round, a correct answer, will earn our contestants $500. Our actor is pretending to be a member of England's Royal Guard, escorting Princess Di while she visits America. But even royal troops need to answer the call of nature. What? It's <laughs> not called the leash of Her Majesty's Royal Guard. I'm charged over the responsibility of the safety of Her Highness Lady Diana, who's visiting your city today. She's inside the hotel visiting with your mayor. And I have a serious problem. I've been on duty here for five hours and I've had no relief and I've got to go. I don't mean I'm going to leave. I've got to go if you take my meaning, you know what I mean? You could help me. Let me show you. I'll make it worth your while. Listen to me now. I pay you. I pay you handsomely. Look at this. All I need from you, sir, is your 
if you'll put on this uniform and stand here in my stead while I go to the gentleman's lounge, I will give you ten dollars, sir, and you'd certainly be doing me a big service. Thank you, buddy, buddy. <laughs> Thank you, anyway. Well, did the man agree to take the guard's place for under $100, $100 or over, or did uh, he tell him to hold his royal horses? Okay, lock in your answers. <laughs> All right, your selections are locked in. This time we're going to keep them a secret until after we watch the rest of our scene. Now, let's go back and see if he agreed to be a fake palace guard. <laughs> I'll play you handsomely. Look at this. All I need from you, sir, is yours if you will put on this uniform and stand here in my stead while I go to the gentleman's lounge. I will give you $10, sir, and you'd certainly be doing me a big service. Thank you, buddy, buddy. I'm talking about cash, American money, sir. I will give you $20. I'll give you 30 sir. Sir, $40 to relieve my terrible pain. <laughs> Tell me why you wouldn't do it. I've got to go shopping, believe it or not. I've got, yeah, it's, shopping. You, know you would leave me here it's only to go money. shopping. It's only money. I'll give you $60 and you could shop with this $60, sir. And you would walk away knowing that you relieved the terrible pains of, his, of one of Her Majesty's royal guards. No. Sir. You're not a humanitarian, I can see that. <laughs> That's all right, some people have those kind of problems. I'll give you $90 if you'll do it. Oh, you are such a bum. You know that? Ah, uh, you'll do it, right? I will. You cheeky devil. All right. <laughs> now, you'll take off your shoes that it takes that to get inside these trousers. Just pull them off and you'll put them back on in a, in a moment there. Now. Put your foot in his side, sir. It's like trousers. It's like trousers. Here's your $90. Wait a minute, I'll give you another 10. Take $10 more. Yeah, there's $100. I'll give you one 10. Sir, you're tantalizing me. I'll give you $130, sir. I have no idea how long I'm going to have to do it. Yes, you do. I guarantee you, sir. I will give you $130. I will go up. Oh, I'm so glad you caught it, sir. It is the ground, it's a big shame. Now, let me tell you, I'll give you $140. No, sorry. Will you do it for $150? No. $160? No. $170? No. You've been a mean bargain, sir. I'll give you $190. No. $200. $200 cash. $200, sir, is yours if you'll just stand in while I go and relieve myself. I wasn't getting married, and my girlfriend will kill me. You old, you're stuck in your left hand. Now, Princess Dar will come through here. You don't speak to her and you don't make eye contact. Don't do that, it's not allowed. She'll step onto the rug. Lastly, she'll turn to you and hand you her a train. There's a bit of an hook in it. You put it through the hook here. With your right hand, you're the other side of the train. And you walk beyond her, at least a pace beyond her. Now, real ramrod attention. Stomach in, chest out, chin in. My pants. Carry on. Pants. Carry on. The British like to keep a stiff upper lip, but this man can't even keep his pants up. Contestants voted and total the winnings when anything from Mike continues right after this. <laughs> enjoy my life as an actress. That's not all I want to be. I love being a wife and a mother. And like every woman, I love wearing pretty clothes. 
That's why I'm delighted to introduce to you my new Jacqueline Smith fashions. I've selected rich, quality fabrics, smart, affordable clothes, with well-tailored lines and designed with a sense of style. My new Jacqueline Smith fashions, available now at Kmart. Your uh, father was a legend in the old neighborhood. A look from him would freeze you kids in your tracks, but you miss him, don't you? So call him for... Sprint has extra discounts that'll let you shoot the breeze without worrying about the bill, and you know what? They spent a billion dollars last year to make sure you can hear every word your dad has to say, and you know, with Sprint, you can almost hear him looking at you. Call Sprint. Find out about it. Seal Test ice cream reminds me of my first kiss and Rosemary Hardigan. I bought Rosemary her first banana split. Oh, gratitude. I wonder if old Rosemary remembers that parlor. Me? I just get some Seal Test ice cream, succulent strawberry, luscious French vanilla, irresistible chocolate, and suddenly I'm that kid just kissed by a girl with strawberry all over her mouth. Seal Test ice cream with that ice cream parlor taste. I'm the eye doctor. I'm having a sale on soft contact lenses. I'm the eye doctor. Call for my special TV prices. I'll fit you whether you're nearsighted or farsighted, need bifocals, have astigmatism, or want extended wear lenses. I'm the eye doctor, and I'll give you a thorough eye exam that tests for cataracts and glaucoma. Call us for an appointment. 800-772-2238. For professional eye care at very affordable prices, see the eye doctor at 11 convenient offices in New Jersey. Hero got a little hindsight into the life of royal duty and earned $200 for the correct answer is $100 or over. The votes are locked in. Let's find out who our winner is for today. Uh, Olga, how did you vote? I voted under 100 and I was Un almost right. You were almost right. I'm sorry that's incorrect, but you do have $200 and thanks for playing our game. Lewis, how did you vote? I voted over $100. Over $100? Well, you are correct. All you right. pick up another $500 right. for $700, which makes you our winner for today. Right. Johnny, tell them about his prizes. But Lewis, you've also won these exercise bicycles. Read and ride together with these custom slender cycles from Vitamaster featuring heavy-duty frame, caliper tension control, and convenient book rack from Vitamaster. They're yours with our congratulations. Oh, Talk about bye-bye. See you next time. Okay. Our parting contestants will receive... Ladies and gentlemen, direct your attention to Diet 7-Up. With 100% NutraSweet and no saccharin, it may be the best tasting diet soft drink ever. Which swab has 50% more cotton right at the tip? Q-Tips brand cotton swabs, because a swab by any other name is not the same. Anne Clemente compares Ragu Homestyle Spaghetti Sauce to her own homemade. Gorgeous. Ragu Homestyle Spaghetti Sauce. That's Italian. suffering needless pain. Who? And Bill. Ow! And Sue. Their teeth are sensitive to hot and cold. If you suffer needless pain, you don't have to. Try Promise Toothpaste. Nothing works better to relieve the pain of sensitive teeth. And Promise Toothpaste has fluoride for cavity protection, so you can brush with Promise every day mm. for protection like this. Promise helps relieve the needless pain of sensitive teeth accepted by the American Dental Association.
There's a beautiful future in your horoscope, but luck won't get you there. Dreaming won't get you there. What will get you there is the real education and beauty you can get now at Wilford Beauty Academy. At Wilford, you can become a licensed and working cosmetologist. You can be what you want to be, working at what you like in a very short time. New classes start soon, so call the Wilford Beauty Academy nearest you right now. Be licensed and working soon. Step up to a beautiful future. At Wilford Beauty Academy, it's a real education. Call now. Are you in a business? Do you have entry-level jobs available? Can you help put a high school student to work? We will find you trained people and give personal attention to your business needs. Because it's good business to put a student in your business. Call the Board of Education's Cooperative Education Program at 212-489-JOBS today. Because that first job is so important. Reach out. Am I my brother's keeper? Today at 4.